Hey viewers, I'm going to show you how to solve problems with a rear derailleur that won't shift up to the high gear or to the small cog. Um, this is my Raleigh Team USA bike and I just upgraded it and I installed a new derailleur on there and I actually got this derailleur used and so I actually think that's what the issue is but I'm going to show you the, the steps to go through to check uh, other possibilities. So first thing I want to do is shift this down to the small cog so and right there it shifted all the way down to the high gear but it's not moving down uh, to the smallest cog it's on the second to the smallest cog what I want to check is the cable and right now there is slackness in the cable if the cable was tight here then that means that uh, the cable was the issue the, the adjustment of the cable so what I would want to do is adjust the barrel adjuster or even just release the cable here from the derailleur uh, let all the slack out and see if that would go ahead and shift it down uh, to the small cog. Next what I want to do is check the limiting screws and how I can do that is I can pedal this around and if I just manually push the ca uh, cage over like that and now it went down to the smallest cog. If the limiting screw was set too tight, it wouldn't let me uh, do that. It wouldn't let me uh, actually get the chain down onto the smallest cog. And so what I want to do is find the uh, limiting screw uh, for the high gear, and a lot of times it's marked with an H, um, and I would want to loosen that out, just kind of uh, turn it out a little bit until it would let the chain come down onto the smallest cog. Another potential issue uh, would be a bent derailleur hanger. So where the derailleur attaches to the frame or there might be a replaceable hanger in there, if that is bent over, then that also might prevent the derailleur from moving down onto the, uh, the small cog consistently. But this is nice and straight, so that's not the issue. Another thing to look for is a uh, bent derailleur. Uh, I mean, it's possible that the derailleur itself is bent. Uh, what you can do is move the cage and swing the cage down, and the cage should move in a nice straight line parallel to the wheel itself. And if it doesn't do that, then you want, might look to the derailleur to see if possibly that's been damaged. The next possibility is that the derailleur is just dirty and gunked up inside and that's preventing the uh, derailleur from coming over smoothly. Um, when you're shifting to the uh, low gear or the, the big cog there, the cable is actually pulling it over there. And so you're actually kind of using a little bit of muscle to kind of pull it over there. And when you release the cable, there's a spring in here that actually just kind of pulls it back. And sometimes that spring is just not strong enough to overcome the gunk and dirt inside there. So what we want to do is uh, I'm going to spray this out using WD-40. Spray it out and try to get all that stuff moved out. Uh, to make that a little bit easier to move this, um, to work the derailleur, I'm going to take the rear wheel off. And this will be kind of messy, so I have some cardboard down. And so I'm going to take my WD-40. I'm going to spray it all inside the workings of the derailleur in here. Just got to get it all in and then start working this back and forth and try to gotta get some get it worked into all the little pivots and just try to get it all worked in here so it, and get all the gunk out of there. Once you think you have it uh, pretty well kind of cleaned up in there, any of the gunk worked out, you can kind of dry it off a little bit. If you have like uh, compressed air, you can always spray compressed air in there and try to get some of that WD-40 stuff out. Now WD-40 does not make a good long-term lubricant. So we want to use like some real oil. So I have some uh, liquid uh, lubricating oil here. So I'm going to spray this in there to try to get these um, joints all lubricated in a more permanent manner. And again, I want to kind of like get this, let this kind of get worked in a little bit here. Okay, I've sprayed the heck out of the derailleur with the WD-40 and then the lubricating oil 
and it may take a little uh, bit of use of the derailleur to get it all worked in there, but right now it's shifting better. It's going down to the small cog there more, you know, pretty consistently now. Where before it wasn't. Anyway, that is how to uh, fix the problem with the uh, derailleur not shifting down on the small cog. Generally, one of those things is going to be the issue. Anyway, I hope this helped. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please click like. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos and it helps me out a lot. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big yellow button and subscribe and you'll see new videos as they come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. And I'm also on Facebook. Uh, go over there and look for RJ the Bike Guy. And I post stuff over there as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.